Hello everybody, this is Punisher, and I wanted to show you a tutorial for OBS Studio, and this is how to get alerts on your live stream using one of the more popular services out there called Streamlabs, which used to be called Twitch Alerts. So I want to go through the UI, show you how you can set up follow alerts, donation alerts, and bid alerts, those sort of things, so that you can have a professional looking scene for your live stream. Stand by. All right, so first thing, you want to go to streamlabs.com, okay, there's a URL, and when you get to the front page, you want to launch Streamlabs, and if you have not logged into your Twitch TV network, you're going to do so now, and if you haven't, if it's not currently logged in, then what it'll do is it'll bring up a pop-up window where you can do your username and password, but if you're logged in like me, then it'll automatically come up. So here is the main UI, as you can see. Um, here's a dashboard, shows recent events, including all your follows, sub alerts, donations, and all of that. So uh, it does give you the ability to kind of see where your channel is and see what, you know, what's been going on within the last 24 hours or so. So what you're going to want to know is how to set up these alerts. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is go to alert box here. Okay, so alert box is going to give you a browser source box that you can uh, set up some text and some generic images. And it could be either stock images that are here on Streamlabs that they provide, or you can actually upload your own, which is what I have done. And so here's the general settings. You can set your alert delay. You can set the alert moderation delay. Um, you can set background colors. Uh, this is the default. So follows is what I use. And I also like this here, you can set where your text is in relation to your image. You can do the overlay, you can do underneath, you can do to the side. But when you go into follows, it's basically the same thing. And you can set this up separately from general settings, okay? Then you can go in, you can change how the animation comes in, if it fades in, if you know, bounces in, does all that. You can uh, change the message here, what you wanna actually see on your stream when somebody follows. Uh, this is the default. I think this is sufficient. Uh, text animation. You can here's where you can choose how it's going to look in uh, on your stream. Okay, and here's where you can go in and change your image file. You can go in and change the media, and it gives you a uh, database of uploaded images that you can go and you can select. So I'll select this guy right here since that's one, my old one, and you can see it's uh, right there. And then also you can also upload a sound file. If you want to use a sound file of your own, or you can use the stock clips that are available here on Streamlabs. I have gone and used my own. Uh, actually, that's not what one I used to use. I used to have one that was a Public Enemy song, and I've just changed it. That's right. I remember that now. So anyway, that's one of the stock uh, sounds that you can get from uh, Streamlabs itself. You can adjust the volume as necessarily necessary here. Um, you can also do the alert duration that you want to see it on your uh, scene on OBS. You can go in and change the font, font settings. You got a host of different fonts to choose from, as you can see here. And you can also change the size of the font. You can also change the weight of the font and then you can go and you can change a couple different colors you got the text highlight colors what it does is it shows two different colors of text the one your the the name will be one color and then the general text will be another and then you can do any avert, alert variations that you, that you may want to do so you have a totally separate ui here if you want to do that i don't have that set personally so you can go in and save those settings. And what is great is that then what this does, okay, is it gives you a URL right here. So um, you can actually copy that, okay, and then paste that into OBS Studio. And as simple, simple as going in and bring up OBS Studio. You can tell I haven't used it in a while because I've still on uh 0.16.6 on my gaming rig, but anyway, it's, it'll still work for what we need to do. So if you want to build a stream uh, scene here, which is what I've done here, um, I'll put this up there just for, change this so it gets out of this tunnel. There you go. So I've got this scene here where I've got a, my uh, display on, my second display on my game rig. 
and I want to go in and simply add browser source, okay? And then y'all would rename this, okay, to Streamlabs Alerts. And then all you got to do is just simply paste that URL in there. And now you have this area right here is 800 by 600. You can change the size of this too if you want to. But I, th I think it's 800 by 600 typically works. You may want it a little smaller. You may want it a little bigger. That is certainly up to you. I'm going to go up here and I'm going to test a follow button. And it should pop up. So there you go. So that's how it does it. Okay, it's pretty simple. Um, likewise, if you have a donation set, you can do that. If you have a bit test, you can do that. So there is my bit settings. Um, also, uh, you know, you got hosting, you got donations. I mean, you got all kinds of stuff. So you can see it's as simple to really set up. Um, just by doing one browser source, you can have all your alerts in one little area. Thanks to Streamlabs. So another thing that I use on my stream, and this may be interest, of interest to you, um, is an event list. Okay, event list, you've seen a lot of people do this. Okay, so this is very important. And it's simple, just as simple as doing your other one. It's just making another browser source, naming it event list, taking the URL up here, copying it, putting it into the browser source, and boom, you have an event list. Um, you can likewise change the different settings and the look of your event list by going down here into this UI and you have uh, different themes that you can set, what you want to have in your event list, the uh, maximum number of events you want displayed at one time, your different colors, um, the font again, the font size, you can do animation fade in and fade out, um, you can choose all kinds of different things here. So uh, it's, it's really cool animation space. So you got all these UI settings that you could use for your event list. And as simple as going in, and let's copy this. Okay. And then make a browser source again. Call it event list. And then paste that in there. And boom. There's your event list. Okay. You can, you know, resize it as necessary if you want it a little smaller. Uh, but now you got an event list. Okay. That, you know, constantly displays and updates. People like seeing their names on your, on your stream. So, um, and it's, you know, and a lot of times I'm going to be honest with you. Sometimes you'll have it to where your one alert won't update, but your event list will. So it's kind of a nice backup too. Sometimes it just does that. I don't know why, but anyway. A cool thing that uh, you have here also is a chat box. A lot of people like their chat box. Again, you got the UI here that you can control a different look. Okay. You could change it to uh, different things and you can see what it's going to look like right there. Okay. I like the clean look because it gives you that uh, clean, uh, transparent background. You can change font size again. Uh, all that stuff you can you know have all these little badges on there and again it's simple as copying the URL going into Twitch alert or going into OBS doing another browser source name it chat box pasting that URL in there and now you should have a chat box now it's not going to show anything well, let me test it I can test it I think it should be able to um, how do I test it? Oh, I know how to test it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on my stream rig and I'm going to bring up a little program I use called Chatty. There we go. So connect my account and I should be able to type in here. Howdy. Should show up. So there you go. So I just type howdy and there it is right there. So that's how you can get a chat box up. Now I used to like having a chat box up. Uh, personally, I don't have it anymore. It just takes a lot of real estate. And sometimes people, you know, type a bunch of crap that you just don't want to have on your stream. So I can, you can get rid of that by either, you know, hitting the I and, and, uh, hiding the chat box, or you can actually delete it by hitting the minus button button there. So anyway, so that's how you can do a chat box. If you, you know, so desire to do that. A lot of people use event lists. A lot of people use the alert box. Uh, stream labels is something else. Okay, so if you have a custom overlay that you would like to do, 
All right. You can download a Windows app. Okay. And this is a little app that you would run on Windows as soon as it's downloaded. All right, so let's go to, let's bring this over and let's go to documents. And there's your, this is the dump, and this is what it does. I guess I should have put it in a folder. But anyway, this is a dump of all the text files, okay? So if you want to put a text file in a custom overlay, let's go to OVS real quick. Let us add an image, and I'm going to bring in an overlay that I have made, okay? Hopefully, I can still find it. And do 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 do. All right, so this is an overlay I made not too long ago, and I was putting like you know, you could have like a uh, latest follower or something up here if you wanted to do that. And it would be simple as making a text file. Okay, you can name it latest follower. Going in there. And then what you want to do is you want to go re click read from file. Okay, browse. And go to that documents. And then find your latest follower. Okay. They got total follower count. Uh, let's see where is his latest follower most recent follower so there you go so you can open that and then you can change the font and all that good stuff okay and so here you see that is a text file okay and you can size it you can change the font do all that stuff um, you can put a another text file in if you wanted to call it follow label or latest follower label name the font do whatever um, you got a ton of fonts is whatever you got installed on Windows um, uh, what do I want let's go with let's go with Franklin Gothic Demi all right and then you type your text in there and say you know latest follower And then there you go. You got latest follower there. You got your alert there. And this alert, as long as that little app is updated, is is running in the background, anytime somebody follows you, this little it'll update this little text file, and then you'll have this little label update. Okay, so it's that simple. It's really easy. Now you can do this for donations. You can do it for followers. You can do it for subs. All kinds of stuff. And that's how these guys do that. Okay, that's how you get these little custom labels on there. And uh, it's really easy to do. So uh, let's see if there's anything else that really need to go over. Um, one of the things that they're testing now is they're testing a couple different um, inter or interfaces. One is a big one. It's Extra Life. And I've actually used this. So if you uh, sign up for Extra Life, okay, you'll get a URL. And at the end of that URL, you'll get this di this number, six-digit number as a participant ID. Okay. So you can go and you plug this in and they automatically have extra life alerts built in. Okay. That you can just go in and, uh, set it, you know, and it works really good. Um, you can actually have those display on your thing. The jar is a tip jar and I'm actually using this right now. And it's the same thing as uh, all the other, uh, different alerts that you want to have up. You just simply copy and paste this URL up here into your browser source on OBS and name it tip jar and then you have this tip jar and you can select all kinds of different shapes of glasses you can select what kind of uh, tips you want to go into your jar you can have different uh, you know tip coins all that stuff you can change fonts all that good stuff and it does work well I've actually got it set up on my stream now now this is something that if you're partnered or if you're now an affiliate which I just became an affiliate twitch um you can have tip jars so if you're one of those two categories and you can actually have this work and it automatically updates 
for you because I've got all kinds of settings in here now that I never had before. So uh, it's really good. So that's uh, one of the things. Another thing is they got this All Star program, and uh, this is all kinds of stuff that uh, if you get partnered with Streamlabs, you can do all kinds of cool stuff. Uh, they tell you down here what you need to become an All Star. So two plus streams a week. You have a hundred con average concurrent viewers, which is a lot. Um, you have YouTube, 30,000 subscribers or 15,000 followers on Twitch. Okay, so that's what they're looking for, for you to build a sign for this. Okay. Um, the great thing about Streamlabs, too, is uh, for you guys that stream on YouTube. Okay. Streamlabs now works for YouTube gaming. It will also support Beam here in the near future. They've already announced that. So Streamlabs is a great thing. I like it a lot. It's probably one of the more popular um alert services for your stream out there um there are other ones but i do like stream labs because stream labs also supports other um stream you know uh support sites like strexum tv for instance uses stream labs to update all their stuff um there's a lot of people that use stream labs so i really think that stream labs is a good place for you to start uh, especially if you're starting out um as a new streamer because it's really easy to set up and easy to understand so anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this little tutorial about Streamlabs. um it does show you a lot of information and it does a lot for you to help you have that professional quality um, live stream so anyway guys if you like the information please subscribe to the channel give a like i'd appreciate it you have a great weekend this is punisher and we'll see you out there bye bye